Welcome to Catholic News World. The Jewish name for Pentecost is Shavuot, or the Feast of Weeks, Leviticus 23:16, a feast in the calendar of Israel celebrating the giving of the law on Sinai. This feast is still celebrated in Judaism as Shavuot. According to Jewish tradition, Pentecost commemorates God giving the Ten Commandments at Mount Sinai 50 days after the Exodus. 2. Pentecost is a Christian feast day remembering the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Pentecost is from the Greek word Pentecostos, which means 50 after Easter. In some places the church celebrated it as Whit's White Sunday. This was a day for baptisms and those being baptized would wear white. But the liturgical color is red at Holy Mass. Pentecost was when God poured out the wisdom of the Spirit. 3. Pentecost is the fulfillment of promises. Jesus said he would send another counselor, the Spirit of Truth, John 16, 5-15. There are seven gifts of the sanctifying category, they are, wisdom, understanding, knowledge, counsel, fortitude, piety and fear of the Lord. For the Apostles and the Blessed Virgin Mary were in the upper room when the Holy Spirit entered. The biblical passages describes three distinct experiences. A violent wind filled the house or breath as a symbol of the Spirit of God a fire or a single flame that separates and symbolically rests on each of them, Book of Acts 5. This was recorded in the New Testament of the Bible. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. 6. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them, as quoted from the Bible the book of Acts chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. 7. The story links back to the Old Testament story, in Genesis 11, when the people begin to build the huge tower of Babel. God confused their language so they could no longer understand each other. At Pentecost, this Babel confusion is reversed. 8. Pentecost is the birthday of the Church. It marks the beginning of Christianity as a purposeful movement and a new community. 9. When Peter preached immediately afterwards, around 3,000 people believed and were baptized. Peter replied, Repent and be baptized. Every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Acts 2.38 Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 were added to their number that day. Acts 2.41 10. You can obtain a plenary indulgence on Pentecost by praying the hymn Veni Creator Spiritus. Full text prayer. Come, Holy Ghost, Creator, come from thy bright heavenly throne, come, take possession of our souls, and make them all thine own. Thou who art called the Paraclete, best gift of God above, the living spring, the living fire, sweet unction and true love. Thou who art sevenfold in thy grace, finger of God's right hand, his promise, teaching little ones to speak and understand. O guide our minds with thy blessed light, with love our hearts inflame, and with thy strength, which ne'er decays, confirm our mortal frame. Far from us drive our deadly foe, true peace unto us bring, and through all perils lead us safe beneath thy sacred wing. Through thee may we the Father know, through thee the Eternal Son, and thee the Spirit of them both, thrice blessed three in one. Amen. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.